Anemia is a common blood disorder that occurs when your body does not have enough red blood cells or hemoglobin to transport oxygen to your body's tissues. As a result, you may feel tired or weak, experience shortness of breath, and have pale skin. In this video, we'll discuss the causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment of anemia. Causes of anemia Anemia is usually caused by disruptions in the production or destruction of red blood cells. Red blood cells are produced in the bone marrow and have a lifespan of about 120 days. When red blood cells reach the end of their lifespan, they are removed from circulation and destroyed by the spleen and liver. If there is an increased rate of destruction of red blood cells, the body may not be able to keep up with the demand to produce new red blood cells resulting in a decrease in the number of circulating red blood cells which causes anemia. This can be caused by liver diseases, blood loss, infections, or exposure to certain drugs or toxins. On the other hand, if there is a decreased production of red blood cells, the body may not be able to maintain normal levels. This can be caused by hypothyroidism, inadequate intake of iron and vitamin B12, autoimmune diseases like lupus and kidney diseases. Types of anemia Some of the most common types of anemia include 1. Iron deficiency anemia This is the most common type of anemia. Iron is necessary for the production of hemoglobin, which carries oxygen in the blood. A lack of iron in the body can lead to decreased hemoglobin levels and anemia. 2. Vitamin deficiency anemia Lack of vitamin B12 or folate can cause anemia, as these vitamins are necessary for the production of red blood cells. 3. Hemolytic anemia This type of anemia occurs when red blood cells are destroyed at an accelerated rate, which can be caused by genetic disorders, autoimmune diseases, infections, or exposure to certain drugs or toxins. 4. Aplastic anemia this is a rare type of anemia in which the bone marrow is unable to produce enough red blood cells, as well as white blood cells and platelets. 5. Sickle cell anemia. This is an inherited form of anemia that affects the shape of red blood cells, making them crescent-shaped and rigid, leading to decreased oxygen delivery to the body's tissues and a variety of complications. Symptoms of anemia. The symptoms of anemia can vary depending on the severity and cause of the condition. However, some common symptoms include fatigue and weakness, shortness of breath, pale skin and fingernails. The patient also may have dizziness and headaches, cold hands and feet, rapid or irregular heartbeat, and chest pain. Diagnosis of anemia Anemia can be diagnosed through a physical exam, medical history, and blood tests. Your doctor may order a complete blood count to check the number of red blood cells and hemoglobin in your blood. Additional tests may be necessary to determine the cause of your anemia. For example, if iron deficiency anemia is suspected, your doctor may perform tests to measure your iron levels and assess your ability to absorb iron from your diet. Other tests that may be performed include a reticulocyte count, to determine if your body is producing enough red blood cells, a bone marrow biopsy to check for abnormalities in your bone marrow, or a peripheral blood smear to examine the shape and structure of your red blood cells. Treatment of anemia The treatment of anemia depends on the underlying cause of the condition. For example, iron deficiency anemia is often treated with iron supplements or dietary changes to increase the amount of iron in your body. Vitamin deficiency anemia may require vitamin supplements, injections, or changes in your diet to increase your intake of the necessary vitamins. In some cases, blood transfusions or medications may be necessary. As for inherited anemias, they may require lifelong treatment and monitoring. In conclusion, anemia is often treatable, but if left untreated, it can cause serious complications like heart problems, nerve damage, depression, and restless leg syndrome. So, if you suspect you may have anemia, it's very important to speak with your doctor.